first up? Okay, we've got a revision to our very popular NAU 7802. This is a strain gauge panel digital converter chip. Um, and it was STEMIQT compatible, and it's wonderful for sensing uh, you know, strain gauges, but also anything with a Wheatstone bridge. The one thing that I didn't have was pre-soldered in terminal blocks, which it now does. Um, so now it's truly plug and play. You don't have to do any soldering whatsoever because it comes with those lovely terminal blocks pre-attached. You just use a little screwdriver, open them up, and wire in whatever uh, Wheatstone bridge you want and you're ready to rock. So um, a nice little improvement. I think people will like it because STEMIQT is meant to be plug and play. Speaking of making stuff more plug and play, another thing that is now fully pre-assembled is we've got the STEMA rotary encoder, I squared C seesaw module. Uh, you want to use a rotary encoder or multiple rotary encoders and you don't want to deal with the frustration of timers and uh, checking interrupts and like multiple pins and then you ran out of pins and whatever. These are chainable I squared C uh, rotary encoder um, backpacks that allow you to read the switch and the rotary value. Like, you know, if it's rotating freely, it can increment or decrement the value and you can chain them. You got multiple encoders built in. The one thing about this was you had to solder in the encoder, but no longer. We do not live in a world like that. We now live in a world where the encoder comes soldered in already for you. This is the multiverse. Yeah, this is the mo yeah. yeah, this is the multiverse of rotary yeah. encoders. No, because it's like it's the whole point of WQT was to make it so people yeah. can plug and play stuff. So people have been asking us, when are you going to have a version with the encoder plugged in? So the only trade-off is you don't get to pick the encoder. We pick it. It's a PEC 11 compatible with a switch. Um, I would uh, I would tell people, you know, if you have a special rotary encoder you want with more or less detents or whatever, this is, I think, 24 uh, detents per rotation, and there's a detent field. But if you want non-detent field, you want 12. Just grab the version that doesn't have the encoder soldered in and soldered in. Another thing is it doesn't come with a knob. We sell a knob for like a couple cents. Pick one up. Or a human hand. Or you can just, you can actually rotate it without the feather. We, yeah, it doesn't come with the old We have feather. to show these things yeah. as a demo. Is this a great demo? Though? But sometimes the things in the video, like human hands, aren't included in your package. Because if we started sending out human hands in the mail, we'd probably get a visit. I can get you a tow by like Friday. I can get a tow by... 10 p.m. tonight if I wanted to. Oh, yeah? Okay, next up. Next up, we got a 12-pack of black linear kale switches. Um, we got these for a special kit we made with the macro pad. We had a bunch left over. If you have a macro pad, which has 12 buttons, because it's a 3 by 4 grid, and you're like, I don't want the red <clears throat> the red linears. I want the black linears. Um, congratulations. You can now pick up a pack of these uh, black linears. Uh we have them in a 10 pack as well if you're you don't want 12 but like i always feel bad people are like i have a macro pad i need 12 but you only sell them packs of 10 six hot dog buns eight hot dogs i don't know now we have a 12 pack okay next up uh today we got from pin Maroney, uh their new nvme base very exciting i know that there's been a lot of people making these uh pcie to m2 adapters i have not designed one yet maybe i will one day uh, but for now, uh, pick up this one from Pimoroni. They did a beautiful job. It goes under your Raspberry Pi 5. Does not work with any other. Only works with the Pi 5 because it has that PCIe uh, port. And then uh, with a little uh, noodly cable, you connect it up. And then you can plug in an SSD drive, which is apparently like eight times faster than an, uh, the micro SD card. Like they're, it's an SSD. It's really fast. And it goes over the uh, differential PCIe port. So... Um, really great if you want to make a, um, you know, network storage, streaming, something, something, data logging, video playback, and you want um, faster speed than even, you know, an Evo Pro micro SD uh, card, uh, the NVMe base is your uh, way to add SSD. Okay, the start of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our team, our community, our customers, everyone who helps make the world a better place through showing and sharing. All their smarts, it's open source world, at least parts of it, is this. Yes, it's the Power BFF. It's coming soon. We didn't quite get all of the demos uh, in, but I thought we would at least highlight if people could sign up um, to just chat about this on INPI. But this is a board that lets you have 5 to 12 volt DC input, and it will let you plug in your Shao or QDPI board on top. 
Um, you also have a terminal block, which you can use to get that power out, or you can have power come in from you know, the terminal block if you have a battery pack. Um, and it features the NPM 3610, so it's a DC-DC buck converter, so it's very efficient, and it'll give you a nice clean 5-volt 1.2 amps out. I'll be honest, I actually got 1.5 amps out when I did my load testing, but it's rated for 1.2. Um, and then there's little mounting tabs, because if you're going to plug it into a DC jack, you, you know, you want to have some mechanical strength. Um, so the version you'll get in the shop, you know, you see has these four little mounting hole legs, and you can break them off if you want it to be more compact. Um, and then I'll show just the prototype real fast. And next week we'll have like a, like a bigger, better demo. Um, but this is, uh, my prototype before I added the legs. Uh, you can just plug into the DC power here. Maybe I yeah, can plug in here. Let's see if this will work. And then boom, now it's running CircuitPython. It's blinking. Focus. Yeah. And, uh, you can do, um, like this is, I think a nine volt. Um, but you know, we want to do some projects where we wanted to, uh, power the, um, cutie pie from like a car or from, um, a DC or battery pack where you wouldn't necessarily get five volts clean. Um, so this will, uh, convert it down to five volts for you. So it's coming soon, but you can sign up and we'll have it in the shop maybe later in this week. That's what matters. Now.